This is not the triumphant homecoming of the local football team with the cup. It's not the opening of a new Esther Hansen series. It isn't the launching of a new American presidential candidate. This is Tuscany, Italy. And a quiet little local welcome for some very special visitors. A British brass band. Grimethorpe Colliery Band. Grimethorpe. You don't know about Grimethorpe Colliery Band. You don't even know where Grimethorpe is. All right, let's begin at the beginning. I mean, Grimethorpe to me is the best place in the world. You know, I mean, uh, I know most of the people. They're very friendly. Well, it's a typical mining village. And it, it borders Barnsley, Pontefract, Wakefield, Doncaster. It's sort of in the middle of those four. If I go for a drink in the pub at night, uh, even if I don't know a fella, he could sit and converse with me about coal because the community people have got this bond between them. Since I was a lad and came into bands, I've always had this notion in my head that someday I'd be the, in the best band, the best pit band, and I'd show people throughout the land that a pit band it wasn't just a pit band, it was a band of musicians who were the same as any musicians in London or Birmingham or Glasgow, wherever you want to put them, that could pick an instrument up and play and play to the best in the world. There you are then, that's a start. Now to Italy and the Montepulciano International Art Workshop. Oh, and for those of you who think brass bands only play marches and hymn tunes, just listen.
could say I'm uh, an amateur, really. I mean, the place we're going to be full of uh, professional musicians. And uh, I've never mixed in the circles of uh, professional musicians, but I've heard uh, a lot of talk about the backbiting and backstabbing and, you know. So, I mean, it had, it had to be a good performance, else we're going to get shot now, aren't we? Do people who go to the band, are they people who um, just happen to be living in the area and work at the mine, or do they come from other areas to work at the mine and join the, to, to join the band, really? Um, well, when you get to the, to the stage of bands of the calibre of Grimethorpe, if a vacancy becomes available, I see, and yeah. then you will find that a lot of good players would apply for the position, and they need necessary, might not be miners at all. I personally am a miner, I've always worked in the mines. Mm. But uh, not all of the members of the bands were miners. No. But they all are now. I suppose at times it gets a little bit frustrating because we all work with yeah. one another and we play together. Yes. And all your social life is right. the Yes, well, it's, all, it's all, everything revolves around the band. Mm. But uh, everybody enjoys well, it's it. it's the same with the orchestra. I mean, yeah. It's quite hard to make friends with people who aren't in the same orchestra. Have you done any competitions this year? Yeah, we've done the minor ones, you know, the qualifying yeah. ones to yeah. go to London and Blackpool. Yeah. And but the, the next one is uh, Bellevue. Well, that's after the four nights holiday when we get back. Yeah. So get your lip back in trim, do you? Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> all go, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> well, it's a fine thing to impress professional musicians from all over Europe and local Italian dignitaries, but Grimethorpe had other important matters on hand. Rehearsals for a contest at Bellevue, Manchester, England. Meet the band and their conductor, Elgar Howarth. I'm going to get a sunstroke here on fucking my neck. I've got a Tommy Miller's hat. Where is he? Has he got a special one? Here in Italy, we're really away from rehearsing for contesting for a month, although we are playing, so we're keeping in trim. And we're trying to push a bit of time in by uh, having a browse through the piece. Uh, obviously, a bit difficult to find in the right places to do it, and uh, we've had to do a little bit outdoors. We can understand now why the English footballers don't like playing in Italy on, a, on an afternoon. It's not very good, really. On the bed. Well, what's the matter with it? Too much sun. Too much sun, yeah. It was at the swimming pool yesterday, see? Too much sun. Oh, it's terribly it, easy. It didn't, it didn't feel very well at the opera last night, but it was a bit rough this morning. The thing about conducting is that you must just be yourself, and as soon as you try to be anything else, you've had it. I mean, there are people who operate in a sort of um, theatrical way, pretending to be conductors. But in fact, they learn to live like that, and they become like that, and are always like that. So in fact, they are being true to themselves. But I'm not that type. And a musician can smell pretension 300 miles away. And it doesn't matter who I conduct, if I conduct a youth choir, or the Halle Orchestra, or Grimethorpe Colliery, or an opera house in Germany, or whatever. I mean, I behave the same, because it's the only way to work. Well, the first thing is, can we come a bit tighter? Because I'm sure you can't, I can't hear over there, and I don't think you can hear that. Can we come in a bit closer? We went to America, we did the normal brass band and Mr. House music. It was fantastic there, yeah. terrific. Yeah, we did, um, it was, we went for my centennial, and the Queen was over there at the same time. And uh, we did a concert in the was it White House? No, no it was a uh, British embassy, British British embassy in Washington. Yeah. In Washington, and there was all the famous people there attended this. And uh, Prince Philip came up and had a word with the band, didn't he? Mm. And uh, he went down the bomb. The man, you don't get sunstroke. The French trip, we, you know, a lot of travelling. We were on the bus as long as 14 oh, hours, yeah. going and doing a job, then straight back on bus. About four hours sleep on bus again to the next place. <clears throat> and it was a bit hectic till latter part at tour. Then we got a few days resting. 